Hello and welcome to this episode of Danny's Tips. In this Lightroom tutorial, you will learn how to create the popular red and blue dual tone effect similar to the graphics and cover art that you see in Spotify. You will learn how to do this in two ways. First, you're going to learn how most people do it with the split toning method. It's easier and sometimes it's good enough. Then you're going to learn my way of doing it which will give you much better results. It's a transferable skill that you can use in other software like Photoshop, Capture One, Affinity Photo, and more. Finally, there are a lot of color combinations that work great as duo tones, and I'll be showing you a straightforward way to figure out what settings to use for any color you want. So if you're interested, keep watching and I'll show you how it's done. The quick way of creating a dual toning effect in Lightroom is to use the split toning tool. The results aren't as good as the method that you're going to learn later, but it's easier to understand and it's also the most commonly used and taught method. Here's how to do it. In the develop module, scroll to the HSL section and then click on the black and white mode. This will make your image black and white. Don't worry about the settings yet because it's easier to adjust it afterwards. Next, scroll to the split toning section. Here, simply set the saturation of both sliders to 100%. For the shadows, shift the hue to around 220 degrees and then adjust the balance to bring out more of the reds. The final thing to do is to go into the tone curve. Make sure that you're using the point curve mode. There are two modes for the tone curve in Lightroom and you can switch by clicking this button here. Drag the top right point downwards. This will drop the whites which will give you more solid colors. And we're done. Here's how the image looks like before and after. You might notice that the reds are somewhat pink and you can't really get that true red color no matter how much you adjust the hue. This is one of the limitations with the split toning tool. There's a better way to create the red blue dual tone effect and that is with the tone curve. What's great about this method is that it uses the tools that are already available in other software such as Photoshop, Affinity Photo, Capture One, and even mobile apps like Snapseed and Lightroom Mobile. It's a skill that you can learn once and use in many different software. I also find that the results are much better. It gives you more control and flexibility. And in practice, it really doesn't take that much longer than what we did earlier with the split toning adjustment. Here's how to do it. First, convert your photo to black and white. You don't need to adjust the black and white settings yet. It's easier to do it after the color grain. Next, go to the tone curves. By the way, if you don't understand what the tone curves does, you can still follow along without any problems. If you want to learn more, you can click on the info card on the top right corner or check the video description for links to tutorials that I recommend. But to get you going, I'll be placing some overlays in this video so that you can get a feeling of what's going on when we're making the adjustments. In the channel's drop down menu, go to the green channel and then drag the top right point all the way to the bottom. This basically makes the green channel black. In case you don't know what channels are, color photos are made from three channels, a red, green and blue channel that when combined forms a color photo. We're going to repeat this with the blue channel. So click on the drop down menu and select the blue channel. Drag the top right point all the way to the bottom and now we have a red tinted image. To add some blue to the shadow, simply lift the bottom left point. And that's all, you just created the red blue dual tone effect using very minimal settings. You can go into the black and white settings to fine tune your colors, but if you're done, you can just save this as a preset by clicking on the plus sign in the preset section. Give it a name and for the settings, only check mark the items that you use. For us, it's the tone curve, black and white mix, and process version. You can also check mark the auto black and white mix, which will let Lightroom automatically adjust the black and white settings for you. Here's how the image looks like before and after. And here's how it looks like compared to a split toning method. As you can see, the tone curve method gives you colors that are more solid and vibrant. Red and blue is a popular duo tone combination. If you want green or blue instead of red, it's self-explanatory. For example, if you want green instead of red, you can just lift the greens back to normal and then go into the red channel and drop the reds. It's the same pattern if you want blue. But what if you want a color like purple that's not in the drop down menu? For that, you have to find out what percentage of red, green and blue that you have to mix to get the color purple. If you're familiar with color and color theory, you probably already know what the formula is. You can also play around with the tone curves and guess your way around. But if you can't figure it out, there's one more way and it's straightforward and easy. All you need to do is use a color picker tool that will show you the RGB value of the color. You can use the color picker in Photoshop, 
or even easier, just go on Google and search for a keyword RGB color picker. It will then display this tool which you can use to pick any color you want, and it will show you the RGB value on the left. The number goes from 0 to 255. The first number is for the reds, the second number is for the greens, and the third number for the blues. So looking here, we can see that to get this purple color, we need to make the green zero by switching to the green channel and dropping the top right point all the way down. Next, we're going to switch to the blue channel and make sure that this point is all the way to the top. For the red channel, it's in between and you can just drag the top right point downwards until you get this purple color. To finish it off, I'm going to add some blues to the shadows by switching to the blue channel and adjusting the bottom left node like this. Here are some examples of other duo tone effects that you can create with the tone curve method. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you liked it. Today I just want to give you guys a big thank you for supporting this channel and helping it reach a new milestone. So after 7 months, I can finally say that this channel is self-sustaining. What this means is that the cost to license the music, video clips, transitions, and everything else that goes into the videos, uh, this channel makes enough from the ad revenues to cover the expenses. And I no longer have to use my own money to fund this channel. So this is a great milestone for me. I want to thank you guys so much for giving me the opportunity to create these videos. Uh, I really enjoy doing it. It's an incredible learning experience for me. I hope it's the same for you. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Let me know what you think about this tutorial in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.